Okay, so as you know, mathematics is a lot of symbols and notation. Now, why is that? Well, math is a language, okay? It's very much like any language, like the English language or Spanish or anything else. You know, you have nouns and verbs and all kinds of ways to express things. So, um, you know, what I have here is some notation that uh, oftentimes students, when they're first learning this, uh, can get confused with this notation. Now, if you're looking here, you know, we have this variable A, but... Uh, we have like A, then we have the one down low in the bottom right, but then over here we have A and the, and the one is up in the top top right. Okay, so this is the top right and this is the bottom right. So you can see, you're like, well, this looks similar, but however, um, you know, these are completely different the way they're used in mathematics. So you don't want to confuse these uh, different ways, this different type of notation, and you're going to come across both uh, types. So I'm going to give you a quick um, kind of compare and contrast where you're going to see this and where you're going to see this, and we'll kind of uh, define some things here, uh, just in case, you know, if you've ever been confused with this notation and this notation, and most of you out there hopefully are saying, well, don't, isn't this like powers? And uh, exponents, yes, indeed, you are correct. However, uh, we need to talk a little bit further about this. Okay? And then, of course, we're going to get into this stuff. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. If you're interested, you can check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, pre-calculus. Um, but I also have many um, courses, test prep courses um, for uh, exams like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Accuplacer, Alex exam, CLEP exam, maybe teacher certification exam, maybe nursing school entrance exam. Guess what? All those exams have in common. They have mathematics in common. So if someone thinks math's pretty important. So you're not going to really be escaping math. Uh, you, you know, the, it, math is everywhere. So if you're taking one of these exams, um, I can help you prepare. Just go to my uh, website, check out my full course catalog. If I don't have your exam, drop me a line and I'll help you out the best I can. Um, I also do a lot with homeschooling. So if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning program. Um, and then obviously I help those of you who have a tough time in your current math courses. Now, if you're truly serious about wanting to do well in math, then you have to be serious about your note taking. It seems like an obvious concept or obvious idea. It'll go, yeah, yeah, you got to take notes. No, no, you got to take awesome notes. You got to take great notes. And I've been teaching math for decades. The one thing I can point to with consistency is those students who take outstanding, excellent notes almost always do very, very well, not surprisingly so. And then those students who are like, yeah, I take notes sometimes, you know, but sometimes I look at my cell phone. Sometimes I talk to my friend. Sometimes I do my homework in my math class, uh, my, my, my biology homework or my, you know, history homework, whatever the case is. Listen, I made all those mistakes and more way back in the good old 1980s. But guess what? I ended up with grades like that. OK, so you can't be kind of focused and expect to do well in math. You have to be focused all the time. And the only way to do that, the one activity that can help you stay focused, because focus is the key to success, is outstanding note-taking. You can't have one without the other. You can't have great notes without having been, you know, highly focused. And if you're highly focused, you need to be writing this information down, okay? Just don't look at your teacher. That's not going to go into your long-term memory. But as you're improving your notes, you can use mine to study from. So those would include pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, and trigonometry. Uh, you can find the links to those notes in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get into this. Um, now, this kind of notation, well, let's start with this notation down here at the bottom. This stuff you would probably see, you know, like maybe like your pre-algebra, okay? Um, algebra 1, certainly, okay? Uh, but this notation, this is a little bit more sophisticated. Uh, you may see some of this in Algebra 1, but then, you you know, really like Algebra 2 and beyond, you start using this notation. So we'll get into this right now. What is what? All right. Let's start off with the, uh, the one that's a little bit uh, probably confusing to people, and that's called subscripts. Okay, that's the technical name for it. It's just a subscript. So here... Okay, I have a basic sequence. Okay, I have one and then three. Okay, it looks like I'm adding two to get the next number, right? So three plus two is five. Five plus two is seven. Seven plus nine. So this is a sequence. This happens to be 
an arithmetic sequence, but if I want to talk about the first number of an arithmetic sequence, like I can't just give this like a variable. I can't be like, oh, this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D, this is E. I'd run out of letters, okay? So there's a better way of describing uh, like positions in sequences and series, okay? And subscripts come in pretty handy. So this is an illustration of how we use a subscript, okay? So here we have these um, different values, A, but what we want to do is define this location. This is the first number in the sequence. So we're going to call this A sub 1. That's how you would say that, A sub 1. This is a subscript. A sub 1 that's the first uh, one, okay, we can write it this way, a sub one is equal to one. Now this guy right here is a sub two, so if I wanted to say, okay, tell me what the th uh, a sub three is, what is the third uh, number in this sequence, you would say, oh, a sub three, one, two, three, that is uh, five. Now there's other things about sequences and series, about the range of domain, that's for another uh, topic, but I'm just giving you a, a simple uh, illustration of uh, subscripts and whether you know they're used in mathematics they they have nothing to do with powers and so this guy way out here um uh, in this nth position okay down the line all right we would define uh, that particular value as a sub n okay so if i wanted to find the general formula for this arithmetic uh, sequence i would want a formula for any uh value any nth value here and i would be a sub n Okay, so let's take a look at subscripts in terms of a series. And there's all types of different uses for subscripts. I'm just kind of giving you one that uh, most of you are going to encounter if you continue on learning mathematics beyond Algebra 1. All right, so here we have a series. Now, a series is nothing more than the sum of a sequence. Okay, so if I got like 1, 2, and 3, that's a sequence. If I go 1 plus 2 plus 3, that is a series. Okay, so there's no difference I mean, there's, you know, conceptually, obviously, we're adding um, the values up, but the, the word sequence and series, you don't want to confuse them, okay? But we're still using this a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3 notation. So a sub 1 would be the first term in my series. a sub 2, uh, 2 would be, I'm sorry, 1 would be my first term. 2 would be my second term. a sub 2 would be equal to 2. 3 would be my third term. But this could be anything. It could be like uh, 1 plus 7, plus 11, this would be a sub 1, this would be a sub 2, a sub 3. So don't confuse, you know, maybe this was a poor example with 3s. These things have nothing to do with it. This is the third position in that series. So if I have a sub n way down here, okay, what would uh, be a sub n minus 1? Well, it would be the value, okay, in that series right before a sub n. So you might see some manipulation, uh, you know, with um, the subscripts like so. Okay, so this is a typical um, way in mathematics uh, that we use subscripts. All right, so I think we kind of covered the one that confuses people the most. Let's talk about superscripts. Okay, so superscripts are basically um, powers and exponents, the way you look at it, but there's other things we can do with superscripts. So that's when the number is in the top right, like so. So this is a to the first power, a to the second, a to the fourth. This is x plus y squared. Okay, so this is a very common way of expressing powers and exponents. So here we have e to the 2x plus 1. That would be classified as a superscript. And this is in a particular equation, but we also have superscripts, you know, written like this. Now, technically, you know, if this is exactly superscripts, but basically have something in the top right. Okay, it's not in the it's not in the bottom right, it's in the top right. And each one of these things means something different. So in trigonometry, this is the arc tangent. Okay. Uh, this isn't like the reciprocal. Matter, matter, let's do something else. What if I had uh, three to the negative one? What does that mean? That means one over three. Was a to the negative n mean? That means one over a to the n. Okay, so this is like finding the reciprocal of these numbers or dealing with a negative exponent. But in uh, trigonometry, this means something different. This expression with this superscript means the arc tangent. This right here, when we're talking about functions, this means find the inverse function. This doesn't mean flip a function over or nothing like that. This is find the inverse function. And if we're dealing with matrices, 
This means find the trans, um, transpose of a particular matrix A. Okay, so again, different meanings when it comes to uh, superscripts. It all depends on what you're studying in mathematics, but probably the most common way that most of you have seen them is in terms of powers. Okay, but you don't want to confuse the two. All right, you have subscripts, all right, which are very, very common when we're dealing with uh, sequences and series, and then superscripts which we are dealing with when powers, but there's other things we can see superscripts as well. Okay, and hopefully this has cleared up any confusion that you may have had, um, but as you continue math, and if you, when you learn sequence and series uh, for the first time, some students get confused with the, the notation. Don't let the algebra notation scare you away or mathematical notation scare you away from learning math. Okay, I know it looks kind of scary, you know, like calculus is all, you know, like, you know, crazy and, you know, all this stuff and everything else. It's just language. Now, I'm not saying, you know, it's exactly uh, easy, okay? It, ba the basics of it aren't too, too difficult to understand. But like any language, if you showed me like, you know, any foreign language outside of English or maybe, you know, some Spanish or something like that, I'd be completely lost, right? If you, you know, wrote anything down, I'd be like, yeah, I don't get that. <laughs> and math is no different. So how would I, you know, learn a foreign language? Well, I'd have to study it. I'd have to study what the symbols mean, the notations mean, and that's what you're going to have to do in math. Math is indeed a language. Okay, so hopefully this video was interesting and uh, helpful. And if that is the case, please consider smashing that like button. It definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus videos, uh, basic to advanced mathematics. So if you need help with math, whether it's pre-algebra, geometry, algebra, one, I have a ton of stuff on my channel. Okay, my goal is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. So please take advantage of those videos and the ones I will um, do in the future because I'm posting new stuff all the time. But my best math help will be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.